feature event wins here at the Bull Charger main event, 40 laps of action. Patrick O'Hanley and Kaylee Parker. Your front row for this 40 lap main event. Eight cars. Okay. Oh, bumping the head. <laughs> Lots of bumping all over the place. But hey, look at the damage already picked up by the six car, Curtis White. Detroit Speedway resident, we know him well. <laughs> Won the championship in the Super Stock Division out there. But he's been struggling this year, or I should say this weekend, here at the ball rig. Had a couple issues yesterday as far as motor goes. Further on. Had to change the valves today, but here they are. He's racing for the position number six. Gonna try and gather it all back up. Single file throughout the pack in this Charger division. Currently leading the way. Might not have the prettiest numbers, but hey, that car seems to be handling just right. Patrick O'Hanley in the number 60, using the line to get a little bit loose. See this battle on for fifth starting to brew. Join the number one of Jim Petri and the number 17 of Houston Simonet. The track in Southern California, Orange Show Speedway, had a big street stock open comp race. The number 34 of Kaylee Barker came on down for it. Gave it a shot. Kaylee sitting in the third position. And getting challenged by the number four. See the 34 go way up the track. The number four of Colleen Dresser gonna take away the position. And the 34 car losing three fast positions. We're working lap seven of 40. A lot of cars right here in this group. There are. Number one car starting to make a move on the inside. Pitch three taking away the spot from Dresser. 17 of Simonet going to try and follow through. Going to happen. Curtis White moving in on the back of this pack. We'll see what he's able to do in his number six machine. Four cars sideways. Dresser gathers it back up. You see the 34 car also with damage on the get-go. Lap back. traffic. Yes, lap traffic, the number 77, James Locke. Locke goes high for the 60. I like those numbers. Those are some good, strong numbers. And trouble for the 17 machine of Houston Simonet. Looks way off the pace. Probably not going to make it around. This might bring out the caution. No, he thinks he won. Oh, victory lane. It's happened before. See? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. Nope. Too fast for victory. Too fast entering victory lane. Caution comes out, lap 11. And we're going to get the 17 car pushed off the track. A little bit of contact. I don't think Curtis White saw the yellow, or at least heard about it. Getting ready for restart lap 11 of 40. The number 60 of O'Hanley leading away to the number two on his outside of Rihanna Hawley. We'll see Hawley holding it on the outside. Good restart for the number one of Jim Petri who started seventh in the main event. One thing. To, go ahead. I was just gonna say according to our sheets, did not qualify. One thing to remember from last year, ladies and gentlemen, is this race isn't over until the checker flag drops and the cars go past the line. We, we almost saw thing, the guy in fourth place win that one. Exactly, and by no means is this field... Easy. Oh, trouble! Exactly. Number four car off the pace. Not quite sure if he got loose, but it definitely looks like that car was under power or perhaps having an issue it like otherwise. That's a four of Dresser. Colleen Dresser, we'll see. Gathers it back up. Curtis White definitely getting use out of his front end for all the wrong reasons. It looks like O'Hanley has his field to handle. That was pretty slick. Good battle for the second spot, though. 
Yep, that 60 car is definitely looking good so far in the first half of this race. And Tommy mentioned the one to Patrie to the inside of Holly. Now, I, you gotta you gotta mention that the number one car. I did not know that was his name. I looked in the pits on his roof, and it said Jim Jones. I see some Langer's juice. Well, not here the Langer's juice, but I do see some S2 late models lining up. And I got actually split here in about four laps. Actually, that's, in four laps. That's the main event following us. And we're gonna have a camera. Oh, Hanley, leading away. Sponsored by Binions. We almost ended up beating there. We almost did. Earlier today. For breakfast, right on Fremont Street, if it's a hotel I'm thinking of. It and is. boy, do we have footage from Fremont Street. Oh, yes, we do. You're going to have to check out our YouTube channel for that one. But you are on and watching. Unless Things have mellowed out. Unless you read it on Facebook watching from the website. But either way, you're watching and we love you. Was my mic off? No. Because I turned it off. Just like the guy that was singing to us last night. You know what? I don't want to hear this anymore. What do you think? Just cut us all out. Halfway flags coming out this time by for the number 60 of Patrick O'Hanley. All right, Jeffrey, I'm going to give this to you. I got to run. Not, I got a run like Talladega. We're going to have a, a shot. No one's really been up to par with that 60 car, it seems. As Patrick closes down on the number 77 of James Watt for the second time. Watt the only car down to lap besides the 17 car who is off the track. Not sure what happened with the 17 of these. Let's check, let's ride on or at least observe the lap. Oh, Hanley seems to be not quite off the pace, but the four car, however. Looks like the four car may have expired an engine. Definitely. A huge smoke screen going up. I saw the 60 car starting to slow down. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? But it doesn't appear that the 60 car is having the issue. It is definitely the number four of Colleen Dresser. We're getting ready to go back to green. Six cars left on the racetrack. Give me my paper, microphone. Getting ready for green flag. Patrick O'Hanley leads us away. Green flag is out again. Curtis White, you see there on the outside of the number two. Contact between them. They gather it back up. Holly, the number two car, but the six car seems to be swirling. Wonder if something was cut down. Or perhaps something got bent. Tempers flare on short tracks. Trouble for your leader. Patrick O'Hanley spins out. In a strange turn of events, the driver who has flat dominated this race goes around coming out of turn two. And the question comes up, was there oil? Is there still oil on the track? What is this? Looks like O'Hanley's going to turn it around. Oh, my. Can he get the job done? Now One, that two, three, four, was unexpected to say the least. Your leader going around on lap 26 all by himself, Patrick O'Hanley. Now I want to talk about one thing about this one car that just inherited the lead. Sorry, filming a little bit crazier. The number one of Jim Petrie. On his door it says Jimmy Jeff. Now my name's Jeff and I can appreciate that so Jimmy Jeff. I don't know why, but he's Jimmy Jeff. So, we'll see 14 laps to go when the restart comes out. As you can tell, we have Jets flying over the corner. Curtis White, after the long week we talked about, now since second. car went around. I just wonder, did the sixth car just lose it? Simply lose it. 
Patrick Von Hanley going to try and work his way back up through the field. Getting around the number 34 car, Kaylee Barker, giving him room. Now the two of the six had contact just a few laps ago, and as I was starting to say, timbers do flare on short tracks. It's one of the gems of short track racing. They seem to get a lot of drivers becoming unhappy with other drivers. Oftentimes it makes things a little bit more interesting than they were meant to be. You'll see the two car drifting up there just a little bit. White, Holly, and your top four. This one, drivers working through that patch of speedy drive. Coming out of turn number two. Oh, Hanley's closing the door. I should say closing the end. Number two car. Holly gives some room. The 60 car is going to go around again and just avoid contact. Car must be on the edge of out of control for all handling to just spun around again. Caution coming out. I wonder if there's a three spin rule. If there is, that's going to be definitely could shed its ugly head early here in the main events at the ball ring. That's right. We're hearing it right now. Next spin will be done. So lap 30 of 40, 10 laps to go. Green flag coming back out. Lap 10. The tree with a great start over his competition. Curtis White, the number six, second place, and the number two of Hawley. See Barker starting to close back in. Don't count Barker out yet. And here comes O'Hanley again. They have a three spin rule here at the bull ring. You spin yourself out three times, you're done. The six car spun himself out twice. Doesn't matter if you were dominating earlier. The rule applies to everybody. And now that's gotta be rushing through Patrick O'Hanley's mind. Gotta keep that car going straight. It's a surprise. I wonder what let go on that car because in the first half, he was untouchable. Something fell apart with that run. Now you see that 60 car sitting in the fourth spot. We saw this play out a little bit earlier between O'Hanley and Holly. We'll see what will go down now. Can the 60 get around the two? Work his way back up. He only has five laps to do it. As of right now, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. A lot of ground to make up on the trees. Running away with it now. In that number one. The six car starting to smoke. Curtis White, we heard that in practice yesterday. He was starting to have some smoke come from the car. Pulled it off after only three laps of practice. We also mentioned the valve problem he was having earlier today. Can he last for the rest of the race? Three laps to go at the line. James Petrie, and then number one. Oh, you see Holly go way high. That's gonna allow O'Hanley to get underneath, capture the third spot. So many storylines in this race. Eight cars, but man, oh man, they kept us busy in these 40 laps. One thing to add as well is each race does have a time limit because we're running two, a two-day event on one night. So we'll be able to uh, see if that comes into play as well. But the number one, Jim Petrie, Jimmy Jeff on the door, working his way, definitely earning it in this one. Jim Petrie gonna cross the line and take the white flag. I'm sorry, I know I made that anticlimactic. I really did. Oh, Hanley trying to catch Curtis White. He's gonna go for the position. Looks like O'Hanley sideways, but Jim Patrice gonna win the first main event here at the Fall Classic. Ball ring in Las Vegas, and boy, oh boy, that six car is giving up. Smoking it up. Curtis White finishes second. Coming from Toyota Speedway, the champion out there in the super stock division. 
So Jim Petrie pulling off the victory here after O'Hanley appeared to have the car to beat in the first half of this race. And something went with that 60 car. Next up will be the S2 late model race and Jim Petrie. We'll see how excited this guy is. Hey, see, I told you, Jimmy Jeff. Jimmy Jeff. 